work. Testing one, two, check, check. Sweet stars. But that is a beautiful sound. Can you hear me? We are a go for broadcast. Devil's Peak Station is now fully affiliated with the board, primed and ready for any and all propaganda purposes. Oh, and I also dispatched Phineas his data. Impatient prick. Worse, I'm now indebted to him for it. Now I'll kindly thank you to get out of my tower. There's no need to assert your dominance. I doubt I could make you do anything you don't wish to. Look, I am well aware that at times I may have the tiniest iota of a prickly exterior. But I must admit I have grown rather fond of you. As Nioka can attest, I do not form attachments with many. Do take care. Why, he told us to leave without flinging insults at our persons. He really does like you, Captain. What in the void blasted hell is that? Black holes! Did you see that? Looks like a UDL ship. Based on the gunnery attachments, I guess it's one of the board's blockade enforcers, but don't cite me on that. Oh well, a pity for the crew, but I can't see how it affects me. Hiram? Can you hear me? Did you see that? Architect saved me from swindlers and fools. Sanjar, what are you bloody doing on my channel? Did MSI or did MSI not cease broadcasting? Yes, but... Hiram. Hiram, are you there? Ah, the good captain. The truth brings us together once more. Our salvation has come crashing through the stratosphere. We need only collect its weapons. Are you mad? That's a UDL gunship. You'd probably shoot your own toes off. Ah, I see you learned nothing while dealing with these buffoons. We could use the gunship's armaments to defend Stellar Bay, but we need its targeting module. Our message is so close to breaking free of this planet and spreading to the stars. Help us secure that module and we will save our colony. Listen, I don't care a single whit what you do, so long as you leave me out of it. Which means, get off my void damn channel! I'm more than finished with you lot.
watch it. These pools don't just stink. They'll take a toe off. If I fall in, you'll pull me out, right? Incoming! Nice hit! That one's done for! Go on ahead, Captain. I'm not keen on ships, even when they're in the best of shape. I'll stay here as well, to keep an eye out for any potential threats. Captain, we should chat. Graham's got the right idea, but he isn't the right guy to execute it. I don't even think he's motivated by philosophism anymore. I think he's just guilt-ridden. Let's be frank here. He's an unhinged charlatan. You're not wrong, but get the hell off your high horse, preacher. This ain't exactly easy for me. I can't believe I'm even saying this, but... I keep going over and over it in my head, and the only way I see the Iconoclast surviving is... we depose him. Okay. Deep breaths. This is what's best, Sora. Time to save Monarch. Captain, you must be back with the access codes to our new ship. Graham, we need to talk. We have work to do. This isn't the time for one of our spats. Stand down? I'm afraid I don't understand, Captain. You're running the Iconoclast into the ground, and I don't believe it'll get better after we take Stellar Bay. The troops take orders from me already, and you've... You've brought me as far as you can down the eternal path. It's time to step down. The troops? Listen to you. This isn't an army. They aren't soldiers. They're believers. Followers. They pick up a gun because you tell them to, not because they want to. And you, Captain, after all you've done for me, for us, you throw behind this mutinous blasphemer? How can you say that, after all I've done for the Iconoclasts? They wouldn't be here without me. I built this movement from the ground up. I've brought freedom to Monarch, and all these years later, we're still free. I joined because I believed that you were in it for the Iconoclasts. That you wanted nothing more than to bring freedom to Halcyon. That you were selfless. But... I know the truth now, Grim. I know what happened in Amber Heights. You didn't start this movement because you wanted to save us. You wanted to save yourself. No. I've spent years atoning for my sins. 
I've studied, meditated, taught. I built the Iconoclasts so that any man could cast away his past for a fresh start. That's your answer, Graham? You needed a fresh start? After all those innocent lives? I'm sorry. I believed in you once. I did. But it's over. Stand down. I won't. What happened back then was a mistake, and the colony has moved on. This is my movement. These are my people. If you want to lead them, you'll have to kill me. Please, don't make me do this, Graham. If this is where my path ends, I accept it. But as long as I draw breath, I will not abandon them. So be it. Big mistake! Everyone all right? The iconoclast. Asshole. Well, Captain, here we are. Killed a lot of people in the name of the Iconoclasts, and it never feels right. But this time, it's especially wrong. You've got the... Void, help me. I'll never remember what that thing is called. The device from the ship. Do you have it? I've thought about it, but... I think we're too far gone. Pulling Carlotta's support was crossing a line. You know, Captain, I never thought about that. Maybe he could be taught the eternal truth. Spread the message from within the corporations. All right. If he's willing to talk, I'll give him a chance. If the Iconoclasts reach that ship first, there won't be any chance for a peaceful monarch. I don't suppose you've found the targeting module yet. I've sent patrols, but they're running into trouble with the Iconoclasts. They're all mad! And what's more, they left us! I don't see any way for us to work together. Ugh, not this again. Remember what we practiced, sir. Yes. The words in those reviews were very hurtful, but they do not define me. I am a mantipillar, and my will is my cocoon. I can emerge and become whatever I wish. You too? He has a point, sir. And it's not all bad. Supposing you're right, who exactly would you have me work with? The Iconoclasts are not the most compromising sorts. That's an interesting suggestion. I confess I don't know much about her, except that she worked for Rizzo. There ain't a body on this planet that can keep a group patched up like she has. I don't know how she does it. I'd be willing to consider it, but I need to see her review first. Excellent. Her review would be in the Rizzo offices in Cascadia. Bring it to me, and I'll see if she's qualified. Nice hit! Fine. They should 
Hoffnung kommt schon no way. Das ist Top Armor. Well done. We are victorious. I'm saying is it ain't worth it. It's gonna taste like salt. Oh, Nyoka, how have you been? Better, worse, I don't know, you know? Yep, nothing on this moon for nobody. There's a lot of heartbreak. You know, a tiny part, a damn stupid part of me hoped he was still out there. What happened? Damn. Well, you find our box of memories? Well, shit. 
Thanks for finding it, at least. Don't gotta wonder anymore. <laughs> well, ain't you clever? Fine. I was supposed to pick him up that night. Thing is, another offer came along. Bit more lucrative. Then you're smarter than the average raft. Next round's on me. A token of my deepest gratitude for solving a decade-long mystery. Now go on. Leave an old man to his past. Arthur today? Hungry? I'm famished myself. No rubbernecking. Make a buy or move on. Not so fast. My biometric IDs are special goods. Only on offer to special clients. You cotton? She needs it for a job? Well, why didn't you say so? Reckoned you asked her where to best procure one and she obligingly pointed you my way. Give me a jiffy to break. I, I mean, calibrate the ID. This goes like that. Nope, not quite right. A bit to the left, mayhaps. That'll do it. For a CMP factory line worker, she sure is a beauty. Careful. I'm trusting you to guard this specialty good with your life. I mean it. Lose the ID and you don't get another. Also, you'll be off my list of unwholesome customers. Will that be all, or do you require something to say, scratch your itch? Oh, no. No, no, no. Ah, you must be a part of the new line shift. Don't tell me you lost your key card already. A lost card's worth two infractions, you know. Nope, that's all right. I know what their messages tend to entail.
Understood. I'll keep my head down. What was that? Just where do you think you're sneaking to? I'm darn well thinking about it. Well, sit fine. Whoa, now. And just what do you figure you're doing up here? These are my private quarters, friend. I don't allow tours up here. I don't allow tours ever on deeper consideration. Certain things require a mess to do well. See, I was just killing some time. I prefer to prepare my dinner by my own hand. Nothing like fresh and bloody borstwurst. Apology considered. Whether accepted is yet to be determined. Intrusions and infractions really quicken me with anger. So, what can I do for you? My full attention is at your disposal. Captain, I would caution that we tread carefully through the remaining morass of this encounter for the safety of all involved. While I approve of your associate's cautious nature, I still teeter on the verge of losing my patience. Let us move forward with the present proceedings. Why do you yet linger by sublight? You mean Catherine, do you not? That greedy, star-crossed sow. Listen, friend. The Borst King of Monarch does not negotiate with coveters. How about you bring me Catherine's severed head, and I will gift you a lifetime supply of Borst. You desire that I should lower myself to Catherine's level of crassness and filth? I cannot fathom how that would cotton myself. The king built this golden monopoly brick by brick from the rubble when the corpse abandoned Monarch. No, he ain't the sort to partner up, as that requires the sharing of power and profits. You think to blackmail me? Try it. The king will grind you to bone spurs and toenails. For true, you figure she will appreciate my skills? They did take me years to perfect. However, I remain unconvinced she could provide the means to make the association worth my while. If you ain't noticed, I'm doing swell, ruling this kingdom on my own. I do admire a properly ruthless individual. If it will keep that sublight sow off my back, then it's an undoubtedly worthwhile pursuit. The king is interested. John Hancock me on the dotted line, friend. I will even <clears throat> give her a cut of the profits, requiring she keeps clear of my short hairs. Do not push me. I am not one to suffer insults. Tell Catherine she is permitted to dump the bodies each and every Tuesday, precisely at 3 a.m.
How's Clive? I do hope you gave him my regards. Oh, this ought to be good. What does he mean to offer in exchange for his no-account life? True enough, I got bodies piling up, drawing attention where they ought not to be. But if I take the factory, I don't need Clive to dispense of my messes. Can appoint someone to handle it myself. Point taken. Good help is hard to come by. Plus, Clive doesn't seem the type to upchuck his boards during dismemberment. Still, you're asking me to walk away from easy money. So we're a lot of things in life, and your point is? All right, color me convinced. Reckon I owe you a finder's fee. Don't spend it all in one place, unless it's here. I'll presume you mean Arthur, the one you sent scurrying back like a sprat with his tail cut off? Reckon I'm happy he's alive. I'd be happier if the marauders who botched my drop were dead. <laughs>